Hi, it's October 1st, and many, many bond fund investors, particularly that were in the total return fund, got gross whacked. What I mean by that is it's been less than one week, and the bleeding has become a bleed out. We had originally 16 months of relentless redemptions out of the total return bond fund that PIMCO has, the one that Bill Gross has been known for. And now with the announcement that he uh, left the total return fund and PIMCO to go to Janus Fund, so much has happened and so much tumult we are seeing as, a, um, uh, as collateral damage in the bond market. It's very interesting to me, and I've been in the bond market for 35 years. I spoke to several institutional brokers who said, we cannot believe the volume of sales and the trends, the hundreds of millions of dollars that are announced every day that are going to double line fund, Luma Sales Fund, or, or some of the BlackRock funds. Money is bleeding out. And therein lies one of the problems with bond funds. Of course, this is an extreme a dilemma. And that is when people decide to redeem, whether it's retail investors, institutional investors, or mega pensions, it will affect the net asset value. And um, a couple of the brokers I spoke to today said, well, I can't believe that, that these big pension funds are able to make decisions on the snap like we're seeing. And I said, ah, ha, ha, it's not the big blubbery pension funds that are leaving. It's the medium and large size asset managers, those that call themselves investment advisors. They don't, it, uh, uh, they don't invest in individual securities. They do funds and exchange traded funds. They have decided we're getting out of Dodge. We don't know what we don't know. And after all, we're not looking for total returns or not expecting total returns of seven, eight, nine percent, you're looking at more like three and a half to four and a half percent maximum because that's where bond land is yield wise. So my message today from Envision Capital Management and me, Marilyn Cohen, is individual bonds would not have had the type of collateral damage had you held them as opposed to a bond fund. Sure, when spreads widen out, meaning that prices go down and yields go up versus the comparable maturing treasury, you'll feel a little pinch, but you won't feel that you are being annihilated. And um, I think many of the medium-sized and small asset managers decided to leave for many reasons. Number one, they didn't want to have any more collateral damage. And number two, here it was quarter end, and they didn't want to have their investors holding on to a bond fund in which the headline news continues. I don't think we've seen the last of it. So my um, call to arms is very simple. Individual bonds, a portfolio of individual securities laddered properly, diversified properly, will give you the diversification you need. And certainly you won't have to worry about whether your neighbor or his neighbor neighbor is leaving because it will barely affect you. I'm Marilyn Cohen. I'm president of Envision Capital Management in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining me.